Hello everyone. In this video I will show you how to fix the following error. No main manifest attribute in java application.jar. So this error means that we created the jar file as a library. So the jar file does not know the name of the main class. To fix this error we have two options. Either we have to add the name of the main class to the jar file or we need to create the jar file as an executable jar. So in this video I will show you how to add the name of the main class to the jar file. Then using Eclipse IDE I will show you how to create the jar file as an executable jar. So this is my jar file. If I double click it, nothing happens. So let's open the command prompt. Let's move to the desktop. Then let's type java-jar and the name of the jar file. Now let's hit enter. And we obtain this error. No main manifest attribute in java application.jar. So let's go to the jar file and let's open it. So in my case, the name of the main class is my calculator. So I need to add the name of this class to the jar file. So let's open this folder and let's extract this file. Now let's open this file. And here we need to add the name of the main class. Now let's save this file and let's close it. Now let's add it again to the jar file. And let's confirm that we want to add the file to the jar file. So let's click on yes. And let's close this jar file. Now let's double click on this jar file. And this time we can see that the application has been executed correctly. Now I will show you how to create the jar file as an executable jar file using Eclipse IDE. So let's close this application and let's delete these two files. Now let's go to Eclipse IDE. So this is the project. I have just to make a right click on the project name. Then let's click on export. In this window we have to expand Java. Then we have to select runnable jar file. Now let's click on next. In this window I have to provide the name of the main class. So let's click on this button and let's select my calculator. Then let's provide the path where to save the jar file. So I will save it on the desktop and I will call it Java application. Now let's click on save. Then let's click on finish. Let's click on OK. So this is the obtained jar file. I have just to run it. And we can see that the application has been executed correctly. Finally, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel.